because that way the sugar level won't shoot up. Otherwise, white rice will always shoot your sugar level up. So you always add some good fat in it. Like Indian diet has mm -hmm. rice, roti, dal. Huh. So then so, you have to cut out on your roti and this is the rice? You're not going to have rice and roti together. I'm sorry. That's mm -hmm. just not allowed. That's <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. You cannot. Oh, <laughs> rice. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. But that is the biggest problem in the Indian See that diet. digestive Indian process? Diet, because yes. everybody has roti as well as rice. Yeah. Together. Yeah. Together. Yeah. together. But that's yeah. not, it doesn't make, it's scientifically it doesn't make sense. Also, when, when, see, you've got to do these things by yourself, all right? You've got to try and eliminate it and see how you feel. Scientifically, it may not. <laughs> Agreed. And like I said, you have to make your choice. Is your choice to eat yeah. roti, rice, dal, or is your choice to lose weight and get fitter? If your choice is to eat it and, you know, whatever, then that's your choice. Because we're, we're in India, and like we were saying, even on the internet, it doesn't address a lot of Indian issues. So from both of you, because you're talking about food and nutrition, three food items, each of you, that Indians must absolutely eliminate from their diet. Like three food items that they... Yeah, they must eliminate. Because they're three... No, yeah, as opposed to add, but they must absolutely eliminate because they always go to things that they just should completely avoid. Oh, sorry, why sugar, sugar, and sugar. Don't even look at sugar. Like anything white, sugar, fine sugar, meda, um, anything. Yeah, anything that's white. In my in my kitchen, there's nothing white. You will not find anything white. You have to find a substitute for it. You can again look at it. So paneer, I, I would say eat soya paneer because again, it's made from uh, milk. But that depends on what suits you. And uh, when I'm saying white, I mean to say like as an ingredient which comes in in a thing, like a sugar, a spoon of sugar, which is so natural for any Indian home to just say, you know, chakra dal or chili dal. It's like so easy. But there are so many other things. You can use dates, you can use natural fruits for sugar, you can use anything else rather than you honey. Know, honey, agave, you know, uh, raw honey. And you know, there are a lot of options that you can choose, but you just like, all of them have said here, if you try reducing your sugar for even a week, you will feel the difference in your body. Let alone look about it, you will feel more energetic because that's what's killing you, according to me. So, I'm sure she knows better. Well, I'd like to in. Just type P protein, you get brown rice protein, uh, you get hemp protein, all of this. You get hemp here. And uh, P is the best. And then take the amount of protein that you need in a meal. That is the amount of protein that you need to consume and this is pure protein. So it, it doesn't even take that much time to digest. So at one time, Rashi, this is my question to you. What is a good amount of protein that you can take at one time? It should, there's a lot of research that shows it should be below 25 grams. And about 25 your body can't really digest. But unless you've gone for a crazy workout, you've lifted a lot, then maybe a little more. If you've done like a Anil Schwarzenegger or Salman Khan kind of workout. <laughs> yeah. Which, which no, does a fast Exactly. One, one, one tiny thing I just want to say, because everyone... Uh, we all get the munchies around 5, 5.30. I yeah. think that's the yeah. toughest time yeah. for everybody. That 5.30 yeah. chai, coffee, or uske saath kya. Yeah. That's when all those cheese toasts and all those bheels and all those soya chaklis that you think are healthy. That's when all of those things come out. So 5.30 munchies, what can you suggest that's healthy for people? You know, just, just easy and, you know, healthy and, and, available. and available. Well, I would, you know, on a, you can add, but what I would do is, now this meal has to be a combination of carb, protein and fat because that will keep you full. So I would take a, take an avocado, add smashed dates in it, add raw, raw cacao in it, maybe throw some walnuts and mix it up. Rashi, these women are not going to do that. Yeah. Give us okay, that's something fine. that they will yeah. have. Yeah. Okay, so then I'll that. tell you what, take a bowl, make these little jars. If you're on the go, take a little bit of muesli, add some nuts in it and keep that with you so you can have that. Or you make energy bites. Take some smashed dates, put raw cacao in it, yeah. put sesame seeds in it. Make these little balls and carry them with you. But see what's going on. Something that's grab and go. Something that's grab and go. Like I know, like she has the yeah. So she has like a, the protein bake shop. So she does these really cool truffles that mom and I have every day at five thirty. Yeah, I try. These truffles are meant for fat. Like they're meant yeah, for yeah. weight loss. Yeah, yeah. But I think you know people want something that's yummy at that time five thirty. Otherwise, you will eat that healthy thing and you will still go for the yummy. Do you need something yummy that's healthy? So we do like roasted makanas, which I think are fine. You have to. Uh, 
uh, for something like that, I think. Masala is great. You can use and and for something like that, you need to be prepared. So you keep it ready in your you know you stack it like how you buy cookies. So you take a little time and you make uh, like a batch of roasted makana with some nice masala and whatever you like chaat masala and keep it in your uh, you know cupboard. So when you take that cup of tea, you go and fetch for that nice bowl of makana or you take uh, even if you take almond flour and you mix it with a little bit of cocoa and a little bit of honey, you can create really nice. Fudgy brownies, which are there in your fridge, you just pick it out and eat a bite, and you feel good about it. So it's, it's so. But wait, this is sorry, sorry, sorry. But I swear to God, try this avocado mousse. It's really nice. Oh, yeah. I believe you, but yeah. most people here are not used to even having that in their diet. Yeah. And when you're at that five thirty, you just sort of have <laughs> that yummy avocado mousse. You don't get good we avocados. Don't any good avocados. I know. I want that. Zombie Sophie gets really good Sophie buys the imported avocados so which we cannot invest, afford. No, it. I don't want to invest 800 rupees in one avocado. What? Yeah. Yes. 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 So please. They will come and spend on us to make them lose weight. They may as well buy the. I don't want to spend 800 rupees on avocados. Just come on, you. Just you try the uh, try the the brownie recipe in the book. It is with sweet potato and it has. Yeah, I I it's like that. It's just perfect. Yeah. You the right person. Please don't come to Mumbai and tell us. Supply avocado. Try it. Yes. Sit sit. Thank you. Okay. Look here. Look here. Look here. Look here.